Russia's State Duma says it would eventually fight all post-Soviet states. Here's a summary of the article. Russian State Duma Deputy Evgeny Fedorov said that the terrorist country Russia intends to restore the Soviet Union by occupying neighboring countries. According to him, the post-Soviet countries allegedly illegally seceded from the USSR. A-D-V-E-R-T-I-S-I-M-E-N-T. At the same time, the United Russia Party member said that Russia had already begun to unite the USSR by occupying part of Ukraine. The MP said that Russia would have to fight all the countries that used to be part of the USSR. At the same time, the politician considers the potential occupation of post-Soviet republics to be a return to the Soviet Union. Sooner or later, all former republics will conflict or fight with Russia, it's a matter of theory. Some of them will fight later like Belarus. Georgia has already been at war, as has Ukraine. This fully applies to Armenia as well, Fedorov said. The politician said that modern Russia is the Soviet Union. A-D-V-E-R-T-I-S-I-M-E-N-T. Russia is replacing the Soviet Union. We are the Soviet Union. Accordingly, we, as the owners of the territory of the Soviet Union, have the right to restore the territorial integrity of the Soviet Union, which we did in Donetsk, Luhansk, Crimea, etc., the MP said. By the way, even before Russia's full-scale invasion, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said that Russia plans to restore the order of things that existed during the Soviet era. This post received a score of 12,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Yes, we all knew that already which is why the smarter ex-Soviet states lined up quick to join NATO. Why do you think Poland's buying up every piece of defense hardware they can? They ain't dumb, they know where this is going. Russia spent the better part of 300 years trying to prevent the Polish state from existing. Poles ain't going down without a fight. It's not a fight. Russia monumentally overestimated their military strength. They can try to take it over by manipulating Polish politics like they've done to Hungary, but everyone knows their military wouldn't put a single soldier's toe inside Poland now it's obvious how fucked they would be. Exactly. No matter how this war ends Russia as a major regional power is gone. They can put up a show now because they are living off their Cold War equipment, like 80% of the equipment they are using are from the Cold War era, which will be gone in approximately a year. Combine this with sanctions, manpower losses, mass emigration AMD terrible birth rates AMD you got a country who will be an insignificant local power in two to three decades. Never mind the impending end of Russia as a regional power, they think they are still a superpower. I may have disagreed with John McCain on just about everything but he was right when he called Russia, a gas station with nukes. I'm not a Republican but I honestly liked McCain. He seemed like a decent guy. A-F-A-I-C-T, he was a decent guy. I disagree with him on the major of issues, but he wasn't a threat to democracy, he wasn't a puppet, and he was right about Russia. Well said. The fact that the dude was in a war camp for five years deserves respect enough. Not according to Trump, who said he disliked McCain just for the fact that he was a war prisoner. It just goes to show you what a effing idiot Trump is and continues to be. The MP said that Russia would have to fight all the countries that used to be part of the USSR. At the same time, the politician considers the potential occupation of post-Soviet republics to be a return to the Soviet Union. Sooner or later, all former republics will conflict or fight with Russia, it's a matter of theory. Some of them will fight later like Belarus. Georgia has already been at war, as has Ukraine. This fully applies to Armenia as well, Fedorov said. What theory? The Russian theory of imperialism? The theory of when we invade or oppress countries they will inevitably fight back, and boy oh boy do we plan on doing some invading and oppressing, not saying that Russia will actually invade these countries necessarily but that's the dipshit logic this MP seems to be using. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.